So this one is entitled Disney by yours truly. Uh, when I start off with my abstract expressionism pieces, I usually like to have some music going. This piece um, is entitled Disney because um, I was thinking about my childhood, the, the good parts of it. When I was a young kid, uh, every Friday or every time my parents got paid, which was typically, you know, they were on a, every other schedule or whatever, uh, we would go to Walmart, that was our thing, <laughs> and we'd go get the newest Disney movie that came out or one of the old ones. We just collected a lot of Disney movies. And, um, you know, these colors together made me feel like from my childhood. You know, enjoying the, the fascination and the change in the storylines with the good values and, you know, the, the sad things, but in the happy endings. But also, it brought you back to a place of where people were human and there was accountability for our actions. I had fun with this piece. I remember just laying on my floor and just watching Disney movie after Disney movie. One of my favorite ones was like Robin Hood. Of course, everyone likes The Little Mermaid and Jungle Book, but I was kind of into like Rescue Rangers and <laughs> 101 Dalmatians. But um, it was those cartoons that really made my childhood phenomenal because I was an only child. And so I spent a tremendous a lot of time alone. Um, and that's where the art comes into play. The abstract expressionism is just me uh, speaking in a different language and I enjoy it. It's really hard sometimes to try to communicate uh, what I do in my artwork. You know, I use a fire, I, I use a blowtorch in the fire, and it, it gets people all excited, but they need to see how it really moves. It, it, the painting moves that I'm going through my experiences. I'm going through my thoughts, just like as the fire jumps, and, and I, I fan it around, and I relocate it because I want something to happen in this area, or I don't want it to happen, or I want a chemical that I mix to react a little bit more violently. And that's how I'm able to get those textures. Um, I did use a little bit of glitter here because, you know, it's all whimsical and nice. And uh, I really couldn't think of a better title for this other than Disney. Uh, you just see how the, the ripple and flow, and I just love it, especially with the gold flakes that came out. Uh, really amazing. My favorite part about doing these pieces is honestly using the torch. Uh, I feel like I create art that no one else has really gotten in, it, in that area and we all use resin but we don't use resin mixing it with the mediums and chemicals I do to create what I create with the torch and uh, I think that's magic and if you know anything about Walt Disney and you know he was really big on magic and this piece was my magic from my childhood from Disney movies.